everybody. Thanks for joining me for a look at our weekend forecast. We're looking at uh, a Saturday being uh, basically a good continuation of what we have seen all week with dry and uh, increasingly warm weather. Um, and then on Sunday, we will see some clouds return um, and probably even a few showers in the afternoon as uh, our pattern actually is not really changing. Um, just the placement, the exact placement of the cutoff lows um, that have been uh, dominating the weather across the entire United States uh, is going to shift just slightly enough to get us into uh, having a chance at a few showers. Um, and then uh, actually, as we think about next week's weather, um, it will still be in a very blocked up pattern. Um, we will probably be on the cooler side of the black of the blocked up pattern and with a few more chances of showers next week than we were this week. Um, but the weather continues to not be real progressive. Um, it's a very spring-like pattern. It's more of like a late, a, a typical of late April, early May uh, pattern, but um, the weather's been a bit kind of uh, like that this winter at times. So uh, in terms of temperatures, uh, if you'll notice here, even at this uh, early hour of the morning at 6.30 a.m., uh, we are uh, close, we're, we're in the mid thirties here, um, but, uh, at, in the, at, in the river Valley, but for most of us, um, we're, a lot of places are still up in the 30, upper thirties, uh, in the forties and even fifties. If we get, um, I'll give a little elevation as, uh, we're in a very warm air mass. Um, and the reason we're in that warm air mass is that we've had this upper level or, or stacked low pressure system, cut off low pressure system. That's been swirling over generally over the uh, central part of the country. It's lifted a little north, but it hasn't moved much. You can see here's our big uh, storm that's been east uh, of Nova Scotia all week. Uh, it has slightly moved east, but you can see neither one of these systems is moving at all. What is moving, there's also another one of these out over the Pacific. If you look at the bigger pattern, there's just like uh, these how off low pressure systems all over the place. That's a very basically not moving pattern. What we're in, where we do have some movement is, um, and a bit of a jet stream still is over the northern, far northern Pacific Gulf of Alaska, and that is pushing in a couple of uh, some weather, which is going to slightly affect our pattern here and get things to move just a little bit. But it's kind of going to be get it to move and then rinse and repeat. So there's a couple pieces. There's this piece here, um, but actually, what's even more important in terms of what's going to happen with this low pressure system is uh, this little swirl here, which is hard to see, but it is actually diving uh, in over the kind of the south central part of the United States. It's going to gr gather a little bit of Gulf moisture. Um, it's going to push this system kind of north and have it as it continues to dissipate, and it's going to replace it with another cutoff low. Um, this time, I think it's going to be placed more over like uh, Ohio-ish, um, and it's going to allow for the warm this is uh, what's well, not really a warm front. It's in the place of a warm front, but it's really more of just kind of an occluded front, which means there's not really temperature difference over there, but there is kind of a wind shift. Um, it, that's going to find its way closer to us. And um, that's where you find some clouds and some precipitation, particularly when that first happens. Before then, we kind of, this, it looks like a piece of that storm is going to try to kind of reintegrate itself with this low pressure area over uh, the eastern, uh, eastern Canada by next week. So. Uh, for the weekend, that means practical weather-wise. Uh, let's just take a look at that. We can see this on the upper level energy area. We see we got this big cutoff low, another big cutoff low over the Pacific, this cutoff low over the central part of the United States, and here's that little piece of energy that's finally starting to kick it, and it's really not going to move it dramatically. It's just sort of going to reorient it a little bit and get us closer to the clouds and the precipitation. What does that mean practically? Um, Saturday, like I said, is been uh, is going to be a repeat of the last few days here with mostly sunny. We could have a couple of afternoon clouds as the that front will start to approach our area. Uh, lows in the upper 40s, highs near 70. A uh, great day for yard cleanup. Brush fire danger is still pretty high, although humidity levels have come up over the last couple of days and there's not really any wind, so not as high as we were early in the week. Um, Sunday will be cloudy. We'll have showers in the afternoon. Lows in the uh, low 50s, those clouds will and showers will keep our highs um, a little bit lower or will be in the upper 50s. Outdoor activities will be better in the morning. I don't think we'll get steady rain out of this. It'll probably just be a few, uh, a few light showers. We'll be lucky to get a quarter of inch of rain out of them, unfortunately. We actually could use some rain at this point. Um, it's quite dry out there, particularly for early April. It's very dry for early April. So um, 
that's how the weather looks. And like I said, next week looks to be uh, same kind of overall weather pattern setup, except we may be uh, in a much cooler spot in that weather pattern. Um, so uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of precipitation, although we may have some areas of showers. Um, so I will be back on Monday morning with a further look at the work week forecast. Um, I'm doing that remotely. Um, and so the, it'll look a little bit different, but I will definitely have something out for you on Monday morning. Uh, as we look at the week at the work week forecast. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, you should do so. Um, it helps you make sure that you get all my forecasts and uh, give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. Uh, I appreciate their help um, and they allow me to make sure to uh, improve my uh, weather graphics. And I'm hoping to have an improvement on that, a kind of a big step up improvement on that um, in the relatively near future. So um, we are continuing to work on making these forecasts uh, a little bit more a little bit better. So, all right. Uh, thanks for joining me. And like I said, be back on Monday with a little bit more